A's and Rays here on Easter Sunday. And Stu, let me give you the pop culture definition of an Easter egg. That's a hidden surprise or an extra feature that's included in something like a computer game, a piece of software, a film or television program. It's something the person using it or watching it gets to find and enjoy. Well, we can do this with the Oakland A's. <laughs> it's the A's golden eggs. There are things that we can see and enjoy and find in the A's organization that maybe are not apparent at first glance. I kind of like that. It's kind, of a, it's kind of a reach, but like this that. makes a lot of sense here not on Easter Sunday. It's that much of a reach. I kind of like it. You have picked a player. I have picked a player both in the A's major league roster, but also in the organization. I'll let you start with the big leaguer. Who is your first A's golden egg? My first A's golden egg is Noda. Ryan Noda. Yes, sir. All right. He's been kind of a, I would say a surprise, but a, well, a rule five guy. So you didn't, you didn't know how this would go for him or if he would even be on this no, team. No, but that's what's big about it. He's a rule five guy. And rule five guys, quite frankly, they're hit or misses. Fortunately, the A's have been pretty good. Uh, one of their rule five guys, as we talked about, was Mark Canna. Right. Now, this is another rule five guy, and all signs indicate that this guy is going to be a big leaguer for a long time. He's got a healthy swing, right? He's hit a couple home runs already, but he just makes loud contact. Well, it's not even just his swing. It's his energy, everything. He carries himself like a big leaguer. He goes out there. He plays it. Every at-bat is a good at-bat with this guy. There's nothing, there's nothing wasted with this guy. He goes after it every day. Here's a surprising fact about him, though. I say that maybe the A's knew about him, and, and most people didn't. He hit only... 208 this spring with one home run, six RBI in 25 games. A 208 average. That doesn't normally get you the eyeballs or the attention or the promotion or the roster spot, but it did, and fortunately it did. They knew what they were doing with it. Well, that's where you got to count on your reports. You, you really know, good. Spring, spring training is a tough place to judge what you're going to get from a player. Your reports, yeah. the things that your pro scouts are saying, the analytics, right. all play a part in why this young man is here. All right, my first A's golden egg is Trevor May. Now, it should come as no surprise that he's on this list. He's been around the big leagues for quite some time. In fact, I believe he is the most tenured big league player on this Oakland A's roster, also has the biggest salary. A 2-1 record so far for Trevor May, meaning that he's pitched in both of the team's wins so far. So there is that. There are <laughs> Called him in the right situations out of the bullpen. But he's a guy in his career who has closed games. I don't know if we'll see that from him. He could probably do it for this team. He could also be your setup guy. He could be an important glue pitcher for the A's in games that they lead down the stretch. Also this, do as you get, get older, your velocity should go down. For him in the last five years, it's actually gone up a few miles an hour. But all of that established, I'm here to tell you that Trevor May is a great dude. I had the chance to meet him in spring training, really kind of get to know him. Mm -hmm. And I think that's an important aspect of this team. They need those type of guys right there to hold this club together this well, season. Well, I mean, you've got to have a solid bullpen. I mean, let's, 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 let's be realistic. Start, uh, starters are not being asked to do um, as much as they have right. been in past. And right. so when you've got a good starting rotation that's going to give you five, maybe six innings, your bullpen has to be able to carry the rest of the way and get some crucial outs. And so having a guy like this as part of your bullpen staff, I think is very, very important. He, he's going to play a big piece. Let's get to our minor league <clears throat> golden eggs while I dip into this golden egg over here. I think there's candy inside. Who's your, who's your minor league golden eggs, Stu? You know, it's my guy. It's my guy, Medina. Luis Medina. Medina. There he is. I, I got a chance to see him in spring training. And, I mean, look at the frame of this young man. He is the perfect pitcher's frame. He's about a six foot three, six foot four right-hander, probably 190 pounds plus, mm -hmm. not quite 200. But, you know, he even throw, he, even though he throws- Is that 100 right there? 100 yeah. plus, Whoa. 100 plus, a 100 plus, he's got 100 plus plus, he's got that nasty breaking ball, and he's working on a changeup. His changeup isn't quite there yet. Yeah. But he's got that 100-plus, man. Is it makes... anything a change-up when you're also throwing 100? <laughs> man, this guy, his stuff is unbelievable. Oh, he, he pitched last night. Four innings, just two hits, no runs, six Ks. His stuff is Ooh. unbelievable. It really is. It's got late life, takes off on the hitter. You see that? There you go. You got 102. Unbelievable stuff, bro. Oh, my unbelievable. goodness. Unbelievable. This kid is unbelievable. I can't wait to get him here at the big league level. Well, he was part of the... 
Montas Trevino trade with the Yankees last year. So more than Sears and Waldachuk, you also get Luis Medina. Okay, my last A's golden egg here is Lawrence Butler, who we saw a taste of in A's spring training. He's currently Oakland's number 10 prospect in the organization, according to MajorLeagueBaseball.com. He hit 550. Well, actually, it says 478. At one point, he's hitting 550 at spring. Doesn't matter. He tore the cover off the baseball. <laughs> he made a bunch of tremendous plays in the outfield. Stu, there was some debate, like, could he crack the big league roster? Now, they ultimately send him to double-A to start this season. But even Mark Kotze said, quote, he's fun. He's got the tools. It's taken him a little while to put it together. Anytime you're a high school guy, it takes a while to get acclimated. He's big. He's physical. He's mature now. He's got the tools to play against major leaguers. I also love the fact that he coined the term in spring training, this is new Oakland. Like, this is the next wave, and I'm part of it, and wait until you see all of us together. Well, I can tell you what, this is another kid I got a chance to see in spring training. Yeah. He's got to be about six foot four, six foot five. Yep. And this kid is chiseled. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he is chiseled. But I'm going to tell you what I like about him. Yeah. He works out in Atlanta with a good friend of mine, a guy that I had a few battles with. Marquise Grissom? Marquise Grissom. I knew you were going to say so that. So yeah. this kid right here. Came up the right way. Working yeah. out with Marquise Grissom. All right. Knows how to swing the bat. Mr. Butler, can't wait to see you ascend, get to AAA, and get to the big leagues. Uh, maybe by the end of this season. I guess we'll find out.